Hi all, welcome back. So this time in N particles, we'll see uh, something called as particle tool. Now, particle tool emit from an object or also common in N particles also. So emit from an object, N particle tool, very similar. So the kind of uh, uh, the work uh, process is the same as uh, for both of them. Okay. So let's take a look at the particle tool here in the option box. So you have a couple of options here. So in the if I, if I just re, say reset tool, uh, the first one is where you can create particles individually. So for example, right now I have just particle number of particle to be one. So I can hit anywhere in my view and you can see red cross, red plus signs here. Okay, and I can kind of click and hit enter to see the particle. So in the outliner, you will see that it will be one single shape. That's it. You don't have an emitter this time, which is going to actually control, which actually controls the speed of the particle and um, and its uh, rate and all those things, so we, which you really don't have here in this uh, particle tool. Okay, it just individually creates those particles. Okay. And remember, it's it's when I play it uh, because there's no emitter, there is no uh, no speed, there's no nothing, it's just stable particle. Only way how you can move these particles is with the help of solvers, so uh, fields and solvers here with the help of forces. Okay, so I can apply a turbulent, a good old turbulent. Let apply it, and then if I play, it, let's see what happens. You can see the particle starts to move. Okay, let's set the attenuation to zero. And there it is. The particle will gradually scramble around. Okay. Of course, uh, they are a lot smaller. Okay. So I will be using uh, in the particle shape attribute. I'll be choosing spheres so that I can see them. So I see spheres moving around. Okay. Another one force which I will be introducing you to is something called as Fields of Newton. Okay, so Newton will actually pull the particle towards it. Okay, you don't see much movement here because the uh, because uh, uh, similar to turbulence, it also has a parameter which is attenuation, which I have to lower it, then add some magnitude and let's play now if you see they converge towards uh, uh, Newton and while trying to do that let me increase the frame range here while trying to do that they they don't collide with each other of course because as I told you legacy particle system doesn't collide with each other they just kind of go through one more thing I need to show you is if you go to the outliner, catch hold of the Newton field, click W and you can have a look at the interactive output here what happens when I actually move this. I want to see it interactively. So in field and solver I have something called as interactive playback which I can control shift and add it here in this okay, where I can have a button for it. So if I play it you can see the particles actually kind of move towards it and because of their momentum they actually you can see they come towards it but they kind of pass through it because uh, of its momentum so uh, normally what will happen is they will just kind of hover around uh, the Newton so Newton is trying to pull it towards it and they will kind of uh, kind of uh, move around the Newton. Okay. So uh, <coughs> that is what is uh, uh, what is single particles in and particles something called as particle tool. Okay, let's go back and check what else do we have. Okay, let me reset this one. Can you see? Yeah. All right. Particle tool. Okay, I can add a number of particles here. 
okay i can add 20 but now if i click all the particles will be created in one single space one single point okay so that's why this parameter gets activated so i can have a radius of two units okay with 33 particles so if i hit it now in that radius of two units i have all 33 uh, particles of my scatter rock so i can use this this will be useful okay but more useful will be a very interesting very interesting uh, uh, parameter here which is called a sketch particles okay so i'll keep the radius a little less quite less 0.1 okay with uh, maybe a little more particles here 43 particles sketch and total will be 5 and here in this sketch particles gives me an ability to sketch the particles Okay, hit enter to come out of the tool. So I have sketch particles here. Okay, and I can use all my tools which I used earlier. So I can select it, control A. Why am I going back to the channel? Okay, I do have parameters here. Okay, so control render type, add colors for object opacity to per object that is going to add here in the render attributes the opacity as well as the this color accumulation increase this increase the red values the green values opacity reduce the opacity of tag Of course, select it and give it a doodled turbulence. Attenuation 0, increase the magnitude to around 15. And I will see that the particle gets scattered. Of course, uh, in the particle shape attribute, I will adjust its lifespan. Okay change it to random range so that it kind of gradually disperses from 1 to let's say make it 2 maybe 3 okay so they gradually die off there it is it's there for quite a time so i'll just make it 2 and 1 there it is so they dry gradually die off okay one other thing what i can do with turbulence one just one more attribute which i want to show you is let me keep this forever for now okay so that they stay there okay. of course i will work with the conserve point nine if i do you will see the particle stays there okay. okay what i will be doing is making use of turbulence in the turbulence i'll introduce you to a special parameter which is a volume shape so right now the particle uh, when the turbulence acts on this it's acting all over the space okay but i can constrain it to just the cube so whatever turbulence will act will just now act in this cube so if i play can you see that it's just acting in this cube if you just scale it like this you'll see Okay. 
so yeah and reduce it maybe scale it like this just take it outside nothing happening but if I do some interactive playback let me take this to frame of 500 let me play it interactive so gradually move this towards and you can see that there is a turbulence only in the region where I want it to be. There it is. So something which you can use students very very useful uh, attribute here. Of course, I can have a volume exclusion also. So, if you take a look at this parameters, everything but outside will be turbulent. So, if I just bring it here and then kind of play it, you can see everything but outside of the box will be turbulent. Okay. So, very, very useful. Yes, so soon. You can work with that. So that is something called as particle tool. Take care. Bye.